This is Dennis Bernstein. You're listening to The Morning Mix. It's 8.45 and uh, 57 seconds. And joining me in studio is Gilad Atzman. Uh, he is a world-class saxophone player. Oh, did I see a concert last night that took the top of my head off. Uh, and he also has a very controversial new book, The Wandering Who. He is perhaps the most controversial uh uh, speaker on the nature of Israel Zionism and other things that relate uh, to that. And uh, good to have you in the studio. Great pleasure. Uh, and we're going to keep talking about this. And I, uh, I I do have to mention that we were supposed to be, uh, I was with you on Saturday night uh, at the Arab Cultural Center in Oakland. We were supposed to be at a city-run uh, facility, but uh, there seemed to be all kinds of snags mm -hmm. uh, that came up in the last minute. Uh, the people who run the Alice Center there, uh, administrated by the city, say there was just various bureaucratic problems that made it impossible for yeah. you to appear there at the last minute. So we did go over to the Arab Cultural Center. It was wonderful yeah. uh, to see you there, and it's good to see you now. Yeah. And let me ask you to lean right into that microphone so we get a nice sound on your voice. Uh, I'm going to come right at it with you because we don't have a lot of time right. uh, and I wish I could just uh, jam for 20 minutes with mm -hmm. the music first, the the healing part of uh, the deep healing part of the work that you do uh, and I was healed last night mm -hmm. in uh, down Wonderful. south but uh, so they call you uh, uh, a, a, a Jew hater uh, they call you a holocaust denier, I think they're referring to the Jewish uh, uh, to the Nazi operation the Germans yep. Um, and, and, but I should say that people like Richard Falk, uh, the, uh, of uh, Princeton University and, uh, the, I think he's still the UN, uh, yeah. top UN official on, uh, uh the UN occupied UN, yeah. territories yeah. and called, for instance, Israel's attack on Gaza, uh, three years ago, a new kind of war crime. That's the attack that killed, uh, 14, uh, 2,000 people over almost 500 children and destroyed everything. Uh, and he called it a new kind of war crime because people weren't even able to become refugees. There was no way to leave. Welcome. Uh, do you deny Holocaust? Are you what people say you are? No, it is quite, uh, quite outrageous um, because I obviously never denied the Holocaust. Um, part of my family uh, perished in this uh, awful uh, chapter in history. Uh, what I do say is that our past contains all the elements that we need in order to envisage, envisage a better future. I insist that we should be able to look on to scrutinize and to elaborate on our past freely. Um, I heard um, your uh, exchange with uh, Patty Cockburn, and I think that it is not very surprising that uh, the people who, who um, destroyed Dresden uh, in '45 are the same people who killed millions in Vietnam and just in the last decade 1.3 uh, million people died in Iraq. Why it happens to us? Why don't we learn from the history, from our past? Because we don't know how to engage in historical thinking. This is a serious problem and I insist the Jews should Jews, like everyone else, should look into their past and try to understand it. For that, they call me a, a Holocaust denier. It is pretty much outrageous. You mentioned self-hater. I'm not a self-hater. I'm a proud self-hater. I really try to understand what is it. I look into myself and try to understand what is it within my culture, within my psychic, within my uh, vision of the world that is slightly problematic. Uh, and the question is why so many Jews uh, and Zionists are offended by the fact that I have some problems with myself. And the answer, I think, is that they do realize that uh, those things that I find about myself 
may be very revealing and uh, and I understand it you know this is indeed a problem but I think that we should uh, we should uh, deal with it anti-semitism I'm b- I've been blamed uh, for being an anti-semite to start with um, anti-semitism used to be um, those who hate Jews nowadays anti-semites are those the Jews hate uh, which is a bit uh, a bit uh, of a problematic concept um, obviously I'm not an anti-Semite, and I would even allow myself to say that I don't think that there are any anti-Semites around. Nobody that I've ever come across, I mean, through reading and encountering a lot of people, hates Jews or Israelis on a racial ground. We have problem. We have a serious problem with. Israeli politics, with Zionist practice, with Jewish politics. And I believe that we must be able to say it. My argument is very simple. Israel defines itself as the Jewish state. Israeli airplanes that throw bombs on Palestinians, innocent civilians, are decorated with Jewish symbols. The first thing that we have to do is to ask ourselves what Jewishness is, what is the relationship between Jews, Jewishness, Zionism, Judaism, not only us, Jews must ask themselves this question because unfortunately since Israel is the Jewish state, the entire world, Jewry, is complicit in crimes that are committed by Israel, and this is a very concerning, uh, this is a very concerning issue. And the way to deal with it is not to silence me. The way to deal with it is to talk, uh, to talk to me, to try to read what I'm saying, to try to understand it. A lot of people. The book uh, has been a bestseller now for uh, four or five months. Uh, to try to understand what I'm saying, and if if I'm wrong. Please point out, but don't try to silence me. It's not going to work. All right, and uh, uh, let me just mention for people who are listening in the Bay Area, I believe you're going to be on with the Voices of the Middle East and North Africa yep. uh, on their Wednesday evening show. They're going to be uh, doing a recording of your uh, of you tonight, and that's going to be on Wednesday for people who want to hear more about this. I'm sorry we don't have a, a ton more time because I, I needed to deal with some of these, uh, no pun intended, the or pun intended, the burning issues uh, that have to do with uh, the burning of the Quran in yeah, Afghanistan, sure. what's happening now, this uh, unraveling in Syria. Uh, but, uh, and it's important, you you speak with an accent. That's an Israeli accent. Uh, yeah. You were in the Israeli military. Your grandfather uh, is what uh, was a part of what people uh, in the Palestinian community and the Arab community called the Nakbar, the yeah, my grandfather the was a purging commander of the Palestinians yeah, of their yeah, land. Yeah. Uh, so you you bring a history to this. Uh, the issue is um, that at a certain stage, I started to feel guilty for a lot of things that uh, have been that I was involved with. I was just involved in living on someone else's land, and guilt is guilt is not a very productive feeling. Guilt becomes meaningful when you turn it into responsibility. And at a certain stage, I realized that I could do a lot through my music. I form a band that tries to, for now, for decades, very successful band, the Orient House Ensemble. We try to introduce peace through music and I started to write more and more about the way I look at myself within this devastating conflict now it is a global conflict it's something that people have to understand what is happening in Palestine is not a remote conflict what is happening in the Middle East is something that America is heavily involved in. We know about uh, your son and daughters that are fighting those 
wars, those criminal wars, but it is more than that. We are facing a devastating uh, financial turmoil that is uh, definitely linked to the situation in the Middle East. To a certain extent, I insist that we should start to see ourselves as Palestinians. We are all Palestinians. We are all oppressed by very similar forces. That's the voice of Gilad Atzman. We're out of time, but uh, among his albums is Exile. This is extraordinarily exalted music, musica para espiritu, uh, and it's uh, it was a beautiful uh, experience last night. I had my mind yeah, expanded. It was great to see you listening uh, to music. Uh, and uh, it, it and maybe we can go out of here. I'm gonna we're gonna go out of here with uh, you playing. I'm gonna read a little poem from my new book called Special Ed uh, that has to do with music. And uh, this is one of my kids who couldn't learn uh, to read for nothing. Uh, but he certainly uh, had a father who influenced him with music. It's called One Boy Band. <laughs> Richard hates math. He hates math, but he's a master of mouth noise. He can click and clack and pop and whistle. He's mastered pitch and attack with the skill of a seasoned jazz man. He's a one-boy band. Plays a dozen different instruments between his lips and his hands. Late nights he sips deeply from Pop's vinyl. Coltrane, Mingus, Lady Day, and Miles. His father chants these names as he falls asleep. Blue notes mingling with thunder and sirens. One boy band, Gilad Atzman. A pleasure to have you. I'm Dennis Bernstein. We're done, Anthony. Thank you. And let me ask you to lean right into that microphone so we get a nice sound on your voice. Uh, I'm going to come right at it with you because we don't have a lot of time. Right. Uh, and I wish I could just uh, jam for 20 minutes with mm -hmm. the music first, the, the healing part of, uh, the deep healing part of the work that you do. Uh, and I was healed last night mm -hmm. in uh, down Wonderful. south. But uh, so they call you... Uh, uh, a, a most controversial uh, uh, speaker on the nature of Israel Zionism and other things that relate uh, to that and uh, good to have you in the studio great pleasure uh, and we're going to keep talking about this and I, uh, I I do have to mention that we were supposed to be uh, I was with you on Saturday night uh, at the Arab Cultural Center in Oakland we were supposed to be a Jew hater, uh, they call you a Holocaust denier. I think they're referring to the Jewish, uh, uh, to the Nazi operation, the Germans. Yep. Um, and, uh, but I should say that people like Richard Falk, uh, the, uh, of uh, Princeton University and, uh, the, I think he's still the UN, uh, yep. top UN official on, uh, uh the UN occupied yeah. territories yep. and called, for instance, Israel. This is Dennis Bernstein. You're listening to the morning mix. It's 8.45 and uh, 57 seconds. And joining me in studio is Gilad Atzman. Uh, he is a world class saxophone player. Oh, did I see a concert last night that took the top of my head off uh, and he also has a very controversial new book, The Wandering Who he is perhaps the, the at a city run uh, facility but uh, there seemed to be all kinds of snags uh, that came up in the last minute, uh, the people who run the Alice Center there uh, administrated by the city say there was just various bureaucratic problems that made it impossible for you to appear there at the last minute. So we did go over to the Arab Cultural Center. It was wonderful yeah. uh, to see you there, and it's good to see you now. 